Hey travelers, it's LSD789 with another build video. It's going to be my Warden Engineer Minion Tank build. It's a really fun build because you can just send out your summons and let them do the work. But yeah, let's go right into it. For this, I'm using the Soulstone Amulet, which increases uh, summon damage by 30% and summon movement speed by 30%. And that also includes the summons for your uh, mods. So yeah, that's really good. I'm also using the Burden of the Destroyer, decreases range of all firearms by 35%. And also increases all damage by 15%. And yeah, we want as much skill and mod damage and summon damage as we can. So this one's really good. I'm also using the Soul Shard Ring. Increases all damage dealt by 5% for each active minion uh, at a max of 15%. And we're gonna have 5 summons on all the time. So this one gives us a 15% boost all the time. It's really good. I'm also using the Ring of Ordinance. This one you can get in the new Boss Rush mode. Allows Nerudian tech to gradually re regenerate uh, while both deployed or stowed. While deployed tech will regenerate at 75% of the normal value, while stowed the tech generate is doubled. So yeah, even if your uh, skills are not shooting anything, it will regenerate the energy and the ammo. And it's just so nice that you can regenerate your stuff. So yeah, this one's really nice. If you don't have this one, you can also use the... What's the name? This one, the, the Soul Guard Ring which gives you a stack of bulwark for each summon. But this one's really nice for your drone and your turret, so you can get their ammo back quicker. I'm also using the Soul Link Ring. This is a ring from the first game, but uh, you get summon, gain 5% of the base damage dealt as lifesteal, which is returned to the wearer as health. So the more damage your summons do, the more you lifesteal from it. And we're going to have a lot of summons on the field, and each time they attack, you get lifesteal from it. But yeah, let's go over the weapons. Using the Chicago Typewriter with the Night Guard mod and the Harmonizer. You can use any gun you like, you can use the Black Ma, but you need to have a mod slot free for it, so you can put a summon in it. But yeah, the Night Guard uh, summons a Night Guard to aid in combat. The Guard hurls penetrating slashes at a random enemy, dealing 81 damage. The Guard will melee enemies if close enough for the same damage and last 26 seconds. And also have the Harmonizer uh, Mutator on it. Attached mod deals 20% additional damage and generate 25% mod powers for the stowed weapon. So yeah, this one's really good. If you don't have this night card, you can also use the tentacles or maybe even the the crabs. And I will link a video in the description how to get this night card, but it's uh, a really good one. I will show a little bit on how to use it. Uh, for the melee weapon, I'm using the harvester side with Phantom Blade, charges, a charged melee attack releases a Phantom that thrills behind the host's weapon, dealing 35% of the Harvester's side damage. Each hit the, of the Phantom Blade will increase the melee speed and melee charge speed by 6% for 5 seconds, at a max of 5 stacks. So yeah, you just uh, charge attack with this the whole time and you, it, will charge, uh, it will attack even faster. And also I have to re reinvigorate Mutator on it, reduces the stamina cost of all charged melee attacks by 50%, and the melee charge attack will do 20% additional damage and 10% crit chance. So with this Mutator you can do charge attacks even quicker. You can also try the World's Edge with Tainted Blade or something, but I like this new uh, Harvester side. And I think also the World's Edge got nerfed, it doesn't penetrate walls anymore. Uh, then for the secondary, I'm using the MP60 R uh, SMG with the familiar mod and the feedback uh, mutator. The familiar you get in low sum by killing the huntress in the, her dream. But I will link a video in the description how to get this. Summons a very familiar to aid in combat. The familiar selects a random enemy within 10 meters and slashes through them with 135 damage each attack. The familiar will select a new target when the previous one dies and lasts for 90 seconds. Yeah, this familiar is really quick and it slashes really quick and you get your lifesteal back really, really fast with this. Then the feedback is using uh, this weapon's mod generates 20% of the single charge value as a passive mod power over 10 seconds, but it does not stack. And the mod, dam the mod damage generates 15% of the base damage dealt as mod power. So this just makes your mod come back quicker, it's really good. Uh, then go over the armor. The armor doesn't really matter, I just put on what, what, uh, what looks nice. I have the True Crimson Crown. Again, if you don't have this one, I will link a video in the description how to get this. And I also have the Fatir chassis 
Uh, I also link a video in the description if you don't have this one. It's it's one of the new sets in the game. I have the pants for it, and I have the dendroid grips. And I'm using the profane heart, which innate three percent life steal bonus, and on use increases all life steal by fifty percent for fifteen seconds. If you don't have this one, you can use the Tranquil Heart or the Resonating Heart. But uh, through my calculations, the Life Seal does include your summons. So we want to stack as much Life Seal as we can. Uh, the Tranquil Heart gives you passive regen, which is also pretty nice. The Resonating Heart gives you a big regen. But I like the Life Seal from it. Then let's go to the Archetypes. I'm using the Engineer as a primary. And as a primary, uh, by ho holding the Skill button, will overclock a carried or deployed heavy weapon. Overclocking grants infinite ammo and increases fire rate and damage by 25% and lasts for 25 seconds and the cooldown is only 48 seconds. And yeah, we're using the normal uh, Vulcan heavy weapon. You can also use a flamethrower or the impact, but this one has a lot of range. That's why I like it. Uh, it comes with a metal worker perk, increases skill damage by 50%, which is good, and uh, range damage by 25 and grants 5% skill and range damage. Um, gain 50% ammo capacity, 25 max health, and 25 weak spot damage for the heavy weapon. Also, you get some uh, damage reduction next to your heavy gun. You get extra movement speed while carrying the gun. And uh, each time you use a relic, you give the weapon some ammo back, and um, it gets infinite ammo for a few seconds. So this one's really good. It also comes with the fortified trait, which gives you armor effectiveness by 50. And we have the Warden as a secondary. You can also switch these around and put this one as a primary. But then your, both your uh, skills get 50% more ammo. But I think, th think the overclock is just better. But you can try around with this. I use the Combat Drone. This one comes with 25% all damage and 5% crit chance. The Warden uh, Drone gets one stack of Bulwark and increases incoming healing effectiveness by 10. Uh, when the Warden health drops below 25, gain a shield for 28% max health and last 10 seconds, but that only can happen to, uh, every 30 seconds and you get extra movement speed when it happens. And when you use a relic, it gives you a shield for 28% of the maximum health, but cannot stack with itself, last 10 seconds until shield is removed, while active actions with the drone does not consume ammo. Then it gets the barrier trait with shields. This trait is currently bugged because um, I'm at level 10 and you should be able to get this trait on any archetype that you want. But as soon as I take away the warden, I lose the barrier trait in here. But yeah, let's go over the traits really quick. I'm using the barrier. I have flash caster at uh, level 7, fortify at 10, endurance at 3. Figure at 10 for 30 max health. I have some regen on the build with regrowth. I have uh, mod regeneration with spirits. Expertise for the skill cooldown. And the skill cooldown does make your skills come back quicker. I tested it myself. Then I have bark skin maximum. I have leech for the lifesteal uh, efficiency. And the siphoner for the base lifesteal. And this also works with summons. So the more lifesteal, the better it is. Then for the potions, you can use the Mud Toots uh, Tonic for extra max health. And that also helps with the shield gain. Or you can use the Meat Shake for the damage reduction. Um, fragments, I'm using health, armor and damage reduction. And the Prism doesn't really matter, just use whatever you want. You can also try uh, skill damage and mod damage. So your summons do more damage. Um, yeah, I will show you a little bit of on how it works, and I will later on I will put in some gameplay of bosses that I'm fighting. Uh, but yeah, you have your you have your turret, but you can overclock and shoot even faster. You have your drone that's shooting, you have your little bird, and you have the two swords. And the swords count as two summons, uh, as one each. You can also try the melee hits. It's pretty nice. It does really good damage. And the Chicago type right? Yeah, you can use any gun. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on, and each time those summons hit, you live steal from it. So yeah, I hope uh, you guys like the build. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. Oh yeah, and I will put in some gameplay now. But yeah, LSD 789. Out.
that thing? Would Clementine have come this way? Uh, hey. Hey. Hi. 